about to board the plane, headed to Detroit. Gotta get my body right. See you guys soon. Ooh, we are here in Detroit. Just landed. Four hour flight. I am so tired. I can't wait to get home, lay down, go to sleep, get some treatment tomorrow. But surprisingly, I talked for about three and a half hours to a, an awesome guy uh, on the flight. And, you know, we just talked about some good life stuff. Here is bag number one. Bag number two. We are outside the airport in Detroit. It's not too chilly. It's about like 40 degrees. Nothing I'm not used to. We'll be okay. Just got to where I'm staying. I gotta kind of keep it down here because people are sleeping. It's about midnight. Um, I'm just about, probably about two hours north of Detroit in a little city called Cairo, Michigan. Uh, I'm so tired, guys. I've been up since 5 a.m. this morning and it is now midnight. And I gotta be up at 9 o'clock tomorrow so for breakfast. So. It's been a long day of travel. I just can't wait to lay down and shut my eyes. So if you can tell, I'm not very like excited right now. That's just because I'm tired. And you know, I just want to go to sleep. So, it is my first day here in Carroll, Michigan. Just woke up, had the greatest sleep after a long day of travel. And now I'm about to go eat some breakfast. Start my day off right. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Don't you guys ever forget that? And then from there, I'm gonna go do uh, a hyperbaric chamber which is basically I'm gonna go oxygenate my whole body it's really crazy after I do it I'll tell you guys the whole thing I'll kind of show you the chamber and once I'm done with it I'll explain to y'all how it kind of goes what exactly is happening it's just a crazy thing it's like a pressurized chamber like they're just pumping a bunch of oxygen in there and it's really good for your body really good for recovery so I got two of those sessions today and then I am working out Doing a, a light workout in between there, and then for the rest of the day, just hanging out. So this place is pretty cool. You know, I'll show you guys around. Got the fireplace. This place was built in 1883. How crazy is that? Got my little shower in here, bathroom. There's me. All that cool stuff. Got a TV. There's my bedroom. My bed. Got my closet, nothing in there. <laughs> but yeah, this place is just, it's awesome. I love it here. What's up everybody? I just got done with my little hyperbaric chamber session. Had a little roll stretch kind of workout session. Now I'm just eating and I'm preparing to go back to my second hyperbaric chamber session. And it's like the craziest thing. I feel like out of breath. As you can kind of tell when I'm talking, it's like, to explain it in like the simplest terms, it's basically like getting a bunch of rich oxygen, breathing it all in, in a pressurized oxygenated tube. And like, that's about it. So it's pressurized, right? So you kind of have to, you get that ear pop, like kind of like when you're swimming in deep water or like when you're like driving, flying in a plane, like driving up in the mountains so like you get the, that ear pop as you're going and it's like it's pretty crazy I like feel very out of breath right now I feel like I just ran on a mountain and it's probably the best thing ever for me apparently it just makes your recovery like super fast because you get all this oxygen in your blood and just speeds up all your recovery processes so 
it's awesome. I sat in there for two hours, took like an hour nap, and like felt myself fall asleep. Like probably one of the wildest things where like I actually, actually like cognitively knew like I was kind of going through the steps of falling asleep. Like I could hear, it was weird, it's the hardest thing to like describe, but I could like hear the air like it's like kind of like a it's kind of like a loud fan, so like you could hear the air coming in there, and I could hear it, and then all of a sudden like my hearing would go out, my my eyes were closed, my hearing would go out, and then like I would feel like I was asleep, and then like it would come back, and I would like wake back up again, or like I would start like dreaming, you, you know how you can hear stuff when you dream, I would hear that stuff, and I wouldn't be able to hear the fan anymore, and then I would go out once I woke back up. It was a lot of things. So. around in downtown Toronto. Yeah, so, uh, we are here, CFL Combine starts tomorrow. It's exciting. This is my friend Dakota. Dakota, say hi. Hi. I'll see you guys soon. Here's the beautiful room view that we have. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Got some nice buildings here. It's day one out here. We got our interviews today. Um, just got some check-in, you know, medical, all that crazy stuff today, and then tomorrow's the big day with bench and vertical. And then Sunday is 40-yard dash, three cone, one-on-ones, all the great stuff. So, we'll be coming to you guys from the amazing city of Toronto. We're here, y'all. First day of testing. About to get uh, get ready to warm up for a bench press and vertical jump. So, you know, looking back now, can't do anything about it. So, it's all getting tougher down there. Put the king on the he said, "Put the king on the camera." That's the king, Malcolm Lee, quarterback Mike O'Connor. We're just excited. We're ready. We've we've been preparing for this for a long time. So, without further ado. What is up guys, just got back to my hotel room. Just finished uh, day one of the CFL Combine. Uh, posted some great numbers, had a 38 inch vertical, really surprised myself there. Uh, that was, you know, that would have been top five at the NFL Combine, so I just thought that was, you know, an amazing thing, thing I got to complete today. And I had about 13 reps, uh, 225 on the bench press, so having a good, uh, good, good Combine so far. Got about five interviews today left. Um, and then, you know, tomorrow's go time, it's the big day, 40s one-on-ones, all that great stuff, so. All right, y'all, about to go to my first interview with the Edmonton Eskimos, so you know your boy had to clean up a little bit with the suit. Had to be looking good, this is a job interview. This is, you know, something I'm gonna be doing for a living soon, so I will tell you guys all the, you know, cool questions I was asked, all the sort of stuff, after I get done with that interview in about the next half hour here, so stay tuned.
We're in here. Today's the day. Gotta perform. All right, what's up, guys? So, shout out my boy. He ran that 4 4 today. Hey, tell hey, me who you are. Uh, can on Julian Grant, uh, at Julian Grant, Instagram, uh, Twitter. Can't get my phone number. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll have his Twitter down in the description, his Instagram in the description. We had a great time out here, y'all. It was awesome. Posted some of the good numbers that I wanted to. We had a great time out here, had some good one on ones, and now it's time to go back home, train for another week, and then go out to UBC's Pro Day. So, this is where we were at. Had a great time out here, so I'm just excited that you know I'm blessed and I love it. It was a great time. See you guys. What is up, everyone? I'm finally back home, Bakersfield, California. Uh, just kind of wrapped up the CFL Combine a couple days ago, uh, and the reason I'm not talking to you guys back from in there is I wanted to kind of let myself, you know, I just it was a very not only physically exhausting weekend, <clears throat> but mentally as well. Because uh, I went through all the interviews, you know, people asked me all these questions, uh, and then obviously the physical strain as well, doing all the testing, and then it's like you're up at 7 a.m. every day, you're in bed by like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and then it's do the do the, the whole thing over again. So um, I just wanted to let kind of like my mind and my body just relax before I had like kind of finished off the rest of this video, um, and like tell you guys kind of how I felt about it, how I thought I did. Um, just my overall experience of the whole thing because obviously it's going to be something I'm never going to forget. Um, but, you know, overall I just think I had a great time. It was a, it was an awesome experience. Got to go to, you know, Toronto, Canada. I had never been there before in my life. Uh, so it was awesome to be in that city uh, and test there uh, and see kind of like it was not only myself, but I was there with about, you know, 40 or 50 other guys who are, you know, in the same position as me trying to, you know, play football for a living try to try to get a job so uh, it was just awesome to you know kind of experience that with other people um, and see you know the, how they've been working the past couple months where they've been working out at what they've been doing what they've been you know uh, eating all that type of stuff how they've been training up until this point so uh, it was just a it was a it was a great place to you know uh, just create some memories uh, create some good memories there with some good people um, and you know thought I tested very well 
Um, probably, I you know, in a few of my test results, not like overly disappointed, but like I knew I could have definitely done better than them, but um, like it still showed that, you know, I had like fairly good test results for my, for, you know, my player skill set. So um, a lot of the scouts were impressed uh, with what I did. Um, I interviewed very well. I felt, you know, I felt I, you know, had very strong delivery, didn't, you know, deviate from questions too much. Um, and just, you know, overall, just, I mean, most of my interviews were just explaining, you know, myself. So if you guys watched that previous video, or the two previous ago videos, um, about me explaining kind of my story, that's literally what I did in those interviews uh, for most of, most of the time. Most of them asked me, hey, who are you? Where are you from? You know, how did you get here? And I was like, wow. I already told the story, you know, about two weeks before this on YouTube, so um, that made it, you know, a lot easier telling that story because, you know, it was fresh in my mind, kind of knew every, all the points I wanted to touch on. And then from there, it was just kind of like, you know, your strengths and weaknesses, you know, those are the those are the easiest things that, uh, you know, I felt I was already prepared for to, you know, in terms of answering those questions. So that's kind of how the interview process went. Uh, it was very... I guess I would say relieving once it was all done because it was like back to back to back to back to back. You know, I went like six interviews in a row or something like that. And it was like, okay, you finish this one, you go to the next floor, go to or in the next room, and you're going to interview with this team. So it was pretty, um, like, like I said, it, I wasn't like stressed about having the interview. It was just a lot to do. So like literally telling my story six, six times in a row and then answering, you know, all these other different questions about myself. Um, whether they're, you know, about my physical attributes or my personal attributes, all those sorts of things. Um, you know, what type of, you know, qual leadership qualities do I have? It was just an awesome, awesome opportunity, like I said. So, uh, now that I'm able to kind of be refreshed, you know, my mind's back to, you know, functioning correctly after a crazy weekend and my body's back to, you know, almost back to fully functioning. Uh, now I can kind of, you know, open up about it. So. Uh, yeah, the, the, the testing was definitely the, the most like, like, wow, like it was, it was a lot, like even just like on day one where we just had, um, like the vertical jump and the bench press, I think I was very like physically and mentally exhausted after that. Um, like all we did, like literally all I did was do three jumps and then all I did was like 13 reps of 225. Um, and like, in, in retrospect, that doesn't seem like a lot. But, I mean, it isn't, but like for some reason, I think because like there's like probably about like 40 or 50 scouts that were watching among like, you know, regular uh, people in the crowd just watching because uh, we were in like a basketball gym and it was kind of like the lights were on and it was pretty, it was pretty cool. It was a cool experience, you know, just to go out there and obviously it was all streamed online. So it was really a, a fun day for me um, after because uh, we went straight into the interview, so uh, it was literally physically exhaust your body and then mentally exhaust your body in the in the interview or your mind in the interview. So that was kind of a fun thing. And then the Sunday uh, was the next like about. I mean, that was the day, right? That was the money making day where we ran the 40s, did the shuttle, three cone, broad jump, one on ones, all that type of stuff. And I thought I performed very well. You know, I'd heard from some scouts that you know I was faster than I thought they would be. Um, and then on my one-on-ones, I did very well. You know, had some, some good coverage uh, and stuff like that. So it was a, it was overall a fun trip. It went by so fast. You know, at, at first I was like, oh, was, can this day come any quicker? And then boom, it was like blink of an eye. The weekend's gone, and now I got pro day coming up next week. Um, back in Vancouver, so I'll be flying out there next week, and we'll be coming to you guys with some video there. I'll try to get a little more, more footage uh, in terms of my performance. I just didn't want to. I don't want to seem unprofessional, um, you know, because this is a job. It was a job interview, and I don't want to be, you know, bringing my camera to every little station, you know, filming myself. So, and I also wanted to be focused, right? I don't want to have to, you know, mess with the camera, you know, hit the record button, set it up in a, in a like correct spot uh, where I can get the best angle. You know, I wanted to be focused mainly on my, you know, event. So, sorry if I don't have every single event. Uh, on this YouTube video, I know I'll, I know I had the you know the bench press, some of my one on ones, uh, the forty was obviously on there, um, and then obviously my warm up. So that's just kind of the the little glimpse into a little bit of what I did this weekend. Um, but other than that, it's you know it's on to the next thing. Now we're on to pro day next week. 
I'll be in Vancouver for a week. Got to take an exam too for school. Got to stay in my academics. Um, and then, yeah, draft in a month. So uh, I'm just really excited. I had a, had a great time in Toronto. Um, and we're on to the next thing. So again, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, do what you got to do. Um, and if you guys have any questions about anything, if you want to know about the CFL Combine, what what the questions I was asked, anything, you know, I'll, I'll try to I'll try to help in any way possible for any young athletes out there that are wanting to know how you can get to the CFL Combine, or you know what it's like once you get there, or even if you're just thinking about the next step of how do I get onto a football team or how do I you know stuff like that, or even just any any type of sports team, anything. Uh, just let me know. So again, thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next week.